Good morning, everybody. Today is February 19, 2019, and it's been a while since I've actually traded, been busy, and then with the holiday yesterday, um, we didn't trade, markets were closed. Let's check uh, Forks Factory and see what we got here. At 10 o'clock um, Eastern Time, Housing Market Index, and that's it. And that's low impact, guys. So hopefully we get a signal and uh, we can trade it here today. Been watching the markets all day long, an hour into the trading day, no signals yet. The only promising one is Apple, but I'm not even liking it here. Uh, maybe some consolidation happening here on SPY in the queues, and we might get a signal uh, thereafter. But patience, patience, patience. I feel like we're getting really close here to um, to getting a signal on uh, SPY. We're starting to see a push here on uh, SPY. There's our signal on SPY. Gonna wait just a tad bit longer here. Yeah, that uh, signal is disappearing. Let's, um, we got about a minute and a half until the uh, candle closes. Let's see if we can get our, our signal to stick. Doesn't look like it's gonna stick here. Alrighty, I went ahead and bought three calls of the 172.50s that expire in three days on the queues. I got filled at 113. I'm still in this trade here. I'm not doing much of anything. I got the finger on the trigger in case you know something goes wrong or it goes the other direction, but. Let's see, let's see what he does here. I went ahead and sold two at 120, um, just, you know, to cover my butt here. It seems like it's having a hard time, but it's wanting to take off. So let's see, let's see what happens here. I actually sold at 119. And if it gets back down to a dollar 13, I'm, I'm just gonna sell out. No biggie, no harm done. And there you have it guys. Oh, I I actually ended up selling that one at 115. I saw 113 flash and I just hit the um, market sell order and it actually sold me at 115. Kind of weird, but um, let me show you my trades for today. I bought three at 113, sold two at 119 and sold that third one for at 115. What's up guys, this is Giovanni from Spy Options Trading. I placed a trade today. It was a good trade. I squeezed out um, as much as I possibly could, even though it, uh, it wasn't a big return. It was a little over 5%, but that is okay, guys. I've been getting a lot of questions about, you know, why don't I go for bigger gains? Why am I only going for, you know, small, tiny gains? Um, it's not necessarily that that's all I want to make. I always have to make sure and protect myself. I think my strategy, um, as far as, you know, selling a portion, the majority of my, my position at a particular level and then holding some in hopes that it keeps running. Um, that, that to me, I think is going to give me the best possible opportunity to make as much money as I possibly can for the last couple of trades. If you haven't noticed, I've been selling at near the high of the day, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. I'm not sure, or, you know, I'm not even going to go there. Um, that tells me that I, as bad as this may, may sound, I, I have a pretty good gut feeling as far as, you know, whether, you know, I should, you know, this is all I can squeeze out of. I think I can chalk it up as, as to luck. That's how I'm chalking it up as anyways. But um, if you haven't guessed already, I'm a trend trader and more specifically a continuation uh, pattern um, trader. I guess that's the best way I can describe my trading technique um, and what I like to look for in a trade. Um, I like to trade the trend. The trend is your friend, essentially. I guess that's going to be the theme of this video here today. The trend is your friend. I'm, I'm absolutely okay with that. These tiny, tiny, tiny wins, 
are adding up. They're adding up and essentially, if you haven't put two and two together, really, this is a pretty good strategy. I just basically have to scale up my trades. Like that's that's where I'm trying to, that's what I'm trying to do is get to the point where I'm very confident in my strategy, find a strategy that I really consistent in what I think works. And at that point, it's just, uh, you know, time is of the essence. It's just, it's just a matter of time where I build uh, up my bank account, my, uh, my trading account, and then just trade for larger positions. And then that is where the money is, where I'm not making 10 bucks, 15 bucks, even sometimes even five bucks. Imagine making $500 or $1,000 or $1,500 per trade. That's the direction that I'm heading towards, guys. So I hope you guys like this uh, trading video here today. If you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Uh, hit that bell notification so you get notified the moment that I upload a video for you guys. And don't forget to like and share my videos. Comment down below what you traded uh, today, what you made money on, what you lost money on. If you need help with something, um, tell me your strengths and weaknesses. I would love to hear from my viewers and my subscribers. Thank you everybody so much for watching. See you here again for the next trade. Thank you so much.